Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over how to break an extended fast. And this is really important because if you do a fast, let's say three, four, five, seven day fast, whatever it is, and then you go right back into eating the way you normally do, you can cause a lot of problems in your body. You can really put a lot of stress in your digestive system. You know, after you fast for more than two days, your digestive system really shuts down. And so it's important that we gradually wake it back up with food. So the general principle is this, for every two days that you're fasting, you want one full day of recovery, okay? And in a recovery day, you're sticking to things like this, liquid nutrition like smoothies, broths, maybe some fermented foods like sauerkraut or kimchi or maybe pickles, cooked veggies. So if you like steam down broccoli or cauliflower really, really well, you don't wanna eat those things raw. Okay, you don't wanna have just like a big raw salad. It's not a good idea. Um, you wanna steam down veggies, maybe soups, okay? I would, I would not do uh, animal products, okay, or at least at least not meat, uh, you know, for at least two or three days after a very extended fast, okay? So that's important. So if you do soups, more of like, um, you know, a cleansing coconut soup or something like that with like coconut milk and turmeric and things like that. And we actually have some recipes in the program too that will, will help you. We have a, uh, a cucumber soup that's really good as well. Um, juices, so you can definitely do juices, whether it's green juices, or um, you know, fruit juices if you want to. Fruit juices, of course, are gonna increase a lot of your blood sugar quite a bit, okay? So green juices would be better. Um, avocado is, is a good one, okay? And so you can do a little bit of avocado. Try not to overwhelm your system. Remember, avocado is a real calorie dense. So try not to overwhelm your system. And, uh, and coconut milk can be really, really good. So typically, you know, if you do more than three day fast, it's a good idea to try to get about half the amount of calories or so that you would normally consume in a day on your first recovery day. So if you normally consume, let's say 2,500 calories a day, then on your first recovery day, don't get more than 1,250. So try to just be really careful with how much you're getting. Many people notice they do great with like 800 or 1,000 because again, they're waking up the digestive system. So maybe 1,250 in that case. Then what you can do is, you know, the, the next day, the, you know, day two on the recovery, you might bump it up another 250, right? And so go up to like 1500 and then maybe up to 1750. And so you're kind of gradually going up that way. And then, you know, really you're starting to eat more intuitively. So if like, if I did a five day fast, I would want to expect at least two and a half days of recovery. So those first two and a half days, I'm sticking with foods like this, right? Smoothies, liquid nutrition, broths, soups, really easy stuff, okay? By day four, three or four, okay, I'm probably ready to add back meat, so that's when I can have, you know, a, a meat-based meal. So it's better to be conservative, you know, than, um, than to try to rush to consume, you know, a, a, big, a very wide diet. It's better to be conservative, go more narrow, go with more liquid nutrition, allow your body to recover well, and uh, then you'll be more well suited to, to consume the meat and consume foods that are harder on the digestive tract and, um, and, and feel good, right? And feel good when you're doing it. So hopefully that helps. Remember two days fasting, one day recovery. So a four day fast, you would need two days to recover. Six day fast, three days recovery. Here's the kinds of foods that you're eating when you are recovering. If for some reason, you know, you have a sensitivity reaction to these kinds of things, it'd be best to avoid those, right? Um, you know, you don't have to eat fermented foods if you don't feel good when you eat fermented foods, right? But they can be helpful. They can really restore the microbiome and, um, you know, help your body adapt and help your body to be able to digest food more effectively when you do bring food back in. So hopefully this is a helpful video and I'll see you guys on the next video. Be sure to check out the PDF as well that goes with this.